Welcome to Reviews by Robbie. Today we're gonna to talk about this SKB hard shell case. It is basically kind of a Pelican Air alternative. I'll tell you the reason why I chose this instead of the Pelican Air at the end of the video, but stick around because we're gonna show you what I put inside this case. Real quick, build quality. You got decent wheels on these things. The handle slides out. One hand slides in, we'll talk about that later. Top, I took out the sticker. Top comes out like this. We got our think tank dividers. These things come out as well. That's how it looks empty. He's got waterproof ceiling and this thing's stuck on there. Um, we got our normal TSA locks right here. If you compare them with the Pelican cases, I always feel like the Pelican cases are gonna pinch my hands. Um, so the latch system on these ones are better. I hear that the latch systems on the new Pelicans are better. All right, so let's just, let's just fill this up. We got our EOS R with the cage. Oh. I feel like that's gonna fall. All right, EOSR with the cage. We got a Sony 24 to 105 G lens. Put our G lens in there. There we go. There's our G lens. Uh, another lens case. I have, what do I have in here? My EOSR adapter is in there. ND filter. Wow, that thing's dirty, isn't it? The ND filter for the EOSR. That in here. We have my my Marshall headphones. These guys are great because they fold and they're small. So we put the Marshall headphones in here with the cable. I lost the kit lens cap to my kit lens for the Sony a7C, which is filming us now, um, that can just go like that, top down. We got our Shinobi monitor, Adam, Adam, Atomos? Shinobi Adam, Atomos? I don't know what, how to pronounce this, Atomos. I put my monitor in here, along with the batteries for the monitor. Just slide those guys in there. I put the battery charger on top. Then I have some monitor clamps that I put in here. And then my HDMI cords for the monitors, both for my Sony and EOS R. I'm one of those guys that use both Sony and Canon because um, I like both. This is a little bike tool I use, but it's great because it's got my Allen wrenches. I'll throw it in there. My Think Protein Bar can go here. I have my EOS R batteries right here. My SD cards go right there too. So my ND filter that can fit on the Canon. It's a variable ND filter, this thing's great. Um, that can go, where did I put this? I guess this just goes in there. D80, D80? This just goes right here. Normally my A7C would sit here, but for now let's just put in our old M6. So imagine that's a bigger camera. M6, and you can put the ZV-1 in there too. I told you I use both Canon and Sony. The ZV-1 holder can just hang out right there. Why not? Sure. There we go. And then this pocket I use for miscellaneous stuff. Extra cables, chargers from Anchor. So they can just all fit in there. Adapters, it just stays like that. A little flashlight, this top handle can go right here, actually right there. More uh, monitor mounts that goes in here with my HDMI cables. Gaff tape, because you never know when you need pink gaff tape. Dead cat for the Sony goes in there. And then I keep all my audio mics in this little bag with an extra SD card. This goes in here and I just kind of sit this on top because it still kind of closes. 
I have a 12 inch laptop that goes to the top. So let's actually switch over a little bit up here so you can see what goes into the hard drives. And then this is the, one of the coolest things that I like to put is this battery charger. It's a anchor battery that I just, that fits perfectly here and I kind of slide it in the back and then I fish the wires through here. So now I have power for my mics because then I can just plug in this case and charge my Rode Wireless Goes. I basically have power in there, more miscellaneous stuff that goes into these pockets. And then the last thing I'll put is my 12 inch MacBook. Um, it actually fits a 13 inch MacBook. Um, but I don't have one. So we're putting in the 12 inch. Will it close? Whoa. Oof. It's got a little bit of weight. Okay, so here is the main reason why I pick this versus the Pelican is because of this top handle latch and it comes out, let me turn it around, uh, the top latch system in the Pelican requires you to pull for two, like two, using your two hands. So you have to pull this tab and then pull up in the Pelican. So to me, if I'm traveling, I don't really want to stop and use two hands. Um, and that's basically the main reason why I got this instead of the Pelican. Another reason was also the sleeve inside. I like the Think Tank sleeve because it just holds everything nice and neat. I know Pelican's got like, you can buy different types of sleeve in the Pelican, but this already had everything in it all in one. So, and I think it's a little cheaper too. Not sure. So that's pretty much it. Hope you liked the video. Let me know in the comments which ones you guys like or use or if you think this one sucks. Let me know. Talk to you guys soon.